Tonsa, Wild Killer here, and we're back with the Zamvis fan fiction. This is chapter 7. Chapter 7 is called Back Then. So, let's start this off with Travis's point of view. It's the morning already. Zane's in my arms, still asleep. I move close to him until his eyes flutter open. Good morning, I say, yawning after. Good morning, Trav, he mumbled groggily. I pulled the sheets up and go into the bathroom and change into some spare clothes Zane had. I've got to go to work. I'll see you later, I told him as I walked out the bathroom. See ya, sweetheart, Zane said as I walked out the door across the street to drop off some stuff. I unlock the door to the house and walk in. Dante is in, in the kitchen cooking something. Hey, Dante, I chirped. Hey, Travis, where were you last night, he murmured. At Zane's, I said hastily. Did you guys make up? He questioned. Yeah, it's complicated, but we're back together, I explained. He nodded and continued what he was doing. I walked over to Garth's door and knocked, no res to no response. The door creaked open, expo exposing a tired blonde whose eyes were bloodshot. What do you want, Travis? He muttered. We're back together. We made up. Okay. Now let me get back to what I was doing. Which is not your business, he exclaimed and slammed the door. I rolled my eyes and went back into my room and put my clothes away, changed and got in the car as I drove off to the cough to the office. Zane's point of view. I'm still laying in bed. I don't really want to get up. My legs are hurting a lot, but that's my fault. It takes all my will, but I stand up and walk into the bathroom. Looking at the cuts on my legs from last ni last night, from the glass the night prior, I shut. I shuddered and put on a baggy t-shirt and gray sweatpants and turned on the TV to the news. And slowly, my eyes close. My eyes close, and I think back to high school. Travis, I called out as we walked down the pier. He ran to catch up with me. What is it, Zane? He asked, panting from exhaustion. The Ferris wheel! We have to go on it! But I hate heights! Please? Only for you, Zane. He said as we got up on into one of the compartments. We sat down on the, as the sun started to set. As we went up, the Ferris wheel stopped right on top. Travis had been holding my hand the whole time, but he then leaned in and kissed me, and I kissed back. It may have been a week before senior year, but I could care less. It was then I realized that just because he's my first love doesn't mean we will break apart. Travis, I hate airplanes. Zane, don't you want to go to Manhattan, though? We get to share a room. Of, of course I do. I, I just, I'm scared, though. I promise it will be okay. I never let anything happen to you. He then wrapped his, uh, his arm around my shoulder as we walked on the plane and sat in the back. The flight was quick as we walked, as we talked the whole day, the whole way. As I, as we got into our hotel room along with all of the other students, both of us rehearsed for the conference for student government for sophomores. As the stars came out, we both headed to bed and Travis wrapped his arms around me and kissed me. And neither of us held back. As we went under the sheets in separate beds, he whispered, I love you. I love you too, Travis. Good night. And that's the end, chapter 7. All the lovey dovey stuff with the flashbacks and everything. But like if you liked, comment what you think's gonna happen next or how you like this chapter. Subscribe if you want to. And... We'll s I'll see you guys in chapter 8. So, see ya!